Right, so today I'm going to talk about sacred space. It might be something that you've heard lots of over the times, that you've been looking into your spiritual development. It might be something that you've learned along your Reiki path or something as you do spiritual healing. But sacred space is an area where you possibly want to work if you're a therapist whether you're a light worker or you're a physical touch therapist, sacred space is all about creating somewhere that feels safe and comfortable for you to work in. Um, the idea behind when you work with energetic things like Reiki, Rahani, spiritual healing, sound work, um, crystal therapy, Things like that, it's nice to have, have an area that's been cleansed energetically, an area that feels protected and safe for you to work in. So there's a, a few different ways that you can achieve this and you don't need to buy lots of equipment, you don't need to buy lots of things, but for some of us who are on this spiritual development path, you might have picked up things over the years that will do the job that you do need. But you can see in front of me here, there's a few things that I'm going to talk about and how you can use them um, to cleanse an area that you either want to work in. It could just be an area that you want to meditate in. It could just be somewhere where you want a little bit of peace and quiet for you, for you to have that time and space to reconnect with yourself and just relax. So having a ritual helps. If you're Reiki trained, you might have learned techniques on how you can cleanse and dedicate areas. So you might have your own way of doing it. But I think sometimes it's quite nice to think outside the box and look at other ways. If you haven't got any of these things here, another really good way of doing it is to open all your windows, play loud music, it just has an energetic cleanse by shifting out any negativity that might be lingering in your home, as well as the area that you might want to work in or have that peace time for you. Another good way is to go around your house and just clap. Clap to shift the energies by creating that sound, that, that, that noise as some people would call it. It just shifts out anything that's no longer needed. But let's talk about some of the things that we've got down the front here. We can clear out negative energies. We can create positive energies and bring in goodness through the use of sound. And here I've got a singing bowl and I've got some tingsha or Tibetan bells as they're sometimes known as well. But I've also got something called smudge. And I've got different smudging sticks here, some that I have made myself and some that I have bought in. The most traditional one that a lot of you will have heard of is what we call white sage. White sage is um, very good on a spiritual level of shifting out things that we no longer need, that we just want to go. So you can see here, just a lovely white sage stick that can come in different sizes. If you're lucky enough to grow some lovely sage in your own garden, get some. You can put them together and make your own. So you can put your own energies into your smudging sticks, which are lovely to do. Here we've got the remains of a lavender one, as you can see. And lavender, which is from my own garden. So this particular smudging stick has received Reiki as well. So every time I use this one to clear out and cleanse, I'm also sending the Reiki energies out as well. Another one that I do use, and this one here, again, as you can see, there's not a lot left of it, um, is another homemade one with lavender, with other herbs. I've got in some lemongrass and different ones. You'll find that if you put different herbs in, it does create a difference in the energies that you can shift and you can create. Another smudge and stick here is palo santo wood and this particular wood is a, what they call a holy wood um, and it's what the indigenous shamans use in the andes and what they use to clear away what isn't needed any longer one thing 
with these particular smudging sticks. You can just waft them around, light them, and just waft them around because it's the smoke. It's the smoke that does the clearing. It's, it's the aroma that it also leaves in the home, which helps cleanse. If you're lucky enough to have some wonderful feathers, any feather will do, but if you can make your own as well, it's great. So if you've lit it, you then just want to use the feathers to cleanse. You can cleanse your home, you can cleanse your working area, you can cleanse yourself, you can cleanse your animals, anything that you feel might be a little bit out of sorts and something's lingering around that you just want to move on. Um, crystals. Crystals are another great way of cleansing. So cleanse again with smudge and with sound, you can use both. But another way is to get some lovely ting sha, Tibetan bells. Um, sound is a wonderful way to clear anything that's no longer needed, especially with crystals and things like that. If you're working with them on a regular basis, it can be nice and easy just to use sound to cleanse. But do always remember if you are using things on a regular basis like that, cleansing them is wonderful, but they do need to be charged on a regular basis as well. So look out for the next full moons and, and just use the energies and the rays of the full moons just to, to charge up what you use on a regular basis. So these are the tingsha. So all you need to do is just use those over whatever it is, whatever area you might be working in to shift. Then we've got singing bowls. Doesn't matter what size it is, what material it might be made of, it might just be something that you've got that connects with you. You might have something hanging around and you weren't really sure what it is. So, singing bowls. Singing bowls can be used in the same way as the tingsha and the same way as the smudge, just to shift and cleanse that sacred space that you might want to be in. So, different ways. We can run the beta around the edge of the bowl. And that just creates the sound that again shifts what is no longer needed. So you can sing the bowl by running the beat around or if you feel you'd rather do it the other way it's just gently tap. that just moves things on that you no longer need in the area that you wish to have as your own sacred space. If you're lucky enough to have a drum or you've got a crystal singing bowl, you've got a gong, you've got a crystal pyramid, anything like that will do the same thing. So just do what feels right for you. Over time you might end up like myself gaining lots of different things. So just be drawn to the one that works for you at the time that you wish to work in.